guys welcome back to my channel today I am in Miami and I just pulled up to what a lot of people say is the best Cuban sandwich in Miami which mostly means in Florida and maybe the United States there is a huge Cuban population in Miami obviously we are pretty close to Cuba uh, this place I'm at is called Sanguish de Miami and it is in Little Havana, which is like the Cuban neighborhood. So without further ado, I am gonna head in, I'm gonna order a couple of sandwiches, and we're gonna try them. See you in a second. Pretty busy, it looks like. Just to go, which is a much shorter line, the line to dine in today is really long, which is actually the opposite of what it was the other day, so I think I just got that. Got the goods! Take it spilling water all over this. Got the Cubano and the Lachon. Standard Cuban, standard Cuban with city ham, lechon, Swiss cheese, pickles, and mustard on Cuban bread. And then, rah, the panko lechon is shredded pork, pickled mojo onions, and garlic cilantro aioli on Cuban bread as well. I can feel how crispy they are already. I feel like we have to start with the Cuban because that's why we're here, right? I also got some extra sauces, the garlic sauce and their cilantro sauce, which I like better than the garlic sauce. I'm happy that I got this to go too, because I'm hoping we can get a little cheese pull action. Oh, 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 oh. look at that. Oh, that was beautiful. Was beautiful. Oh my gosh, and it's juicy. Oh my gosh. Ugh. All right, so I'm saving half of each one of these sandwiches for Shane because he has never tried them and he wasn't able to come with me today. How good does that look? I love the ratio. I feel like I've had a lot of Cuban sandwiches that are way too much bread and not enough meat. This feels much more appropriate. Got a good amount of crustiness. The bread is so crusty that a shard of it just flew into the back of my throat. I'm a disaster. So I asked for the garlic and the cilantro and they gave me four sauces. I have no idea what the other two are. This is the garlic. I love the amount of pickles. I feel like I could use more mustard. Though the sauce is a little tangy, so that helps. I have no idea what this one is. Looks like it could be like smoky or spicy. So why not really go for it? Not spicy, a little smoky. That's really good, a little sweet. I think I like the garlic and the cilantro sauce. They're the best so far. And this looks kind of chimichurri. It smells really bright. Mm. I 
That one is so good. Oh my gosh. I'm going to have to vacuum my car after this. It's so messy. I'm not sure I recommend eating these in your car. Here we are. That run. There's pieces of bread in my water. I'm still going to drink it. I am so thirsty. Yeah, they've got just like a little schmear of the mustard on the bottom. I like heavy mustard. Extra mustard. I feel like the meat has good flavor. The ham and the lechon. Just kind of salty and porky. This is unbelievable. I mean, honestly. All right. I'm going to show you the inside of this one. The Lechon. <laughs> oh. My camera just shut off because <laughs> the sun is beating down at it on the windshield. So now this is what I'm doing. <laughs> Blow like the wind. <laughs> that actually worked like really, really well. Let's see how long it takes for the camera to heat again. Ooh. Why can't I speak? Before the camera overheats again. Ta-da! These pickled onions look amazeballs. It smells so good. <laughs> it's just so I just have to accept the fact that I'm gonna have like a big cleaning job to do in here. I really wish I hadn't packed our Dyson. All right. <laughs> you know, this is pretty accurate. This is how it, things usually go for me. <laughs> mm. Oh. That's a bay leaf. I don't want to eat that. This is so good. You can very much taste the flavor of the meat. Obviously, it's just one and there's double. This is the same meat that was in the Cuban, but it also had ham. You can taste like the slow cookedness of it. Really well seasoned, like unctuous. was was my favorite of the sauces i feel like these have such like richness from the meat and the cheese like something tangy and not creamy is the best at least for me but i'm out of it <laughs> so there's that I 
the pickled onions are so good too. Probably a little bit more tangy than the actual pickles from the Cuban. That and the hundred over here. The other thing I love about this bread is that even though it's like got a really nice like crustiness to it, it's not like ripping holes in my mouth, you know? Like it might seem like it would cut the roof of your mouth biting into it, but it really doesn't. It's like a delicate shatter of bread that has made its way all over my car. Mm. That was way too much. I feel like maybe it's a little dry if you don't eat it with the sauce. Not like crazy dry, but it's, I think, better with the sauce. I'm just a sauce person, though. Like, I love extra sauce. Like, the more moist, the better. Moist. Christmas. Pretty dry. Mostly bread. <sighs> Alright guys, so I think pretty successful. Have I tasted every Cuban sandwich in Florida or the United States? No. But this feels like a pretty good one. Ratio, on point. Crusty bread, on point. Sauces, on point. I guess I'm not like a huge ham person in general. Like it's not my favorite, but I still love the Cuban, especially with whatever the hell this sauce was. <laughs> and then I loved the lechon. Like I loved the flavor of that meat. I'm like, maybe I could try a Cuban with double lechon kind of like combine both of the sandwiches and that would be like ideal for me. There are a couple other Cuban sandwiches, one in particular that I know people kind of compare this place against a lot of the time. So maybe next time I'm in Miami, I can do like a part two to see about that one. Though I have seen photos of it and there's a lot more bread, which I know I'm not gonna be a fan of. Maybe it's delicious bread, maybe it's life-changing or whatever, but I feel like less bread is generally better. Shane had taken me to another place in Tampa that had really good Cuban sandwiches and it just missed the mark for me. So that place in Tampa, which is like the best in Tampa compared to this place, this place definitely wins for sure. All right guys, well, I am gonna like somehow like clean up a little bit 
and then head home. All right, guys, super excited to be doing these videos for you again. If you have any suggestions for any more videos you want to see me do in South Florida, I've already got a few in mind. Leave it in the comments. Thank you guys so much for joining today. You guys know how much I love and appreciate all of you for taking your time, taking the time or some time out of your day to spend with me. I hope you all have a magnificent day and I will be seeing you next time. Bye. Standard cumin. <laughs> the shard of it just flew into the back of my throat. There's pieces of bread in my water. It's all gonna drink it. Let's see how long it takes for the camera to heat again. Why can't I speak? I'm a disaster.